morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. 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 the number of professional artists here in the United States alone. But what about those who aren't necessarily professionals yet? What about those who are aspiring artists? It's behind you. Oh, oh. The problem that many young people face when beginning to make art is that they don't know what type of art medium they prefer and what type of art medium they want to go in. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and I'm the CEO and CFO of ArtHive. I'm Ashley, and I'm the co-CEO and secretary. I'm Julian, I'm the CEO, the chief operating officer. I'm Lizette, the CMO, chief marketing officer. I'm Daisy, the CIO, the chief information officer. And we are ArtHive. Whether you're barely a beginner artist or even a professional, we are the solution you have yet to discover. Not only is ArtHive a subscription box that offers high quality art supplies and an affordable price, but we also help local artists gain exposure. So we have three boxes in mind, but for right now, the ones that you have are focusing on the box called Honey Pot. So basically the level skill is what, how you want to learn and what supplies you want to try out, like charcoal or paint or pencils. And um, as you can see on the outside of the box, we designed the box black and white so that the customer can color on it and put whatever designs they would like. Uh, the next box of have from Lisa is the honeycomb. The honeycomb is meant for people who are ready, already ready for another art medium already. And the box itself is interesting, not because of the box shape, but because of the design. The design of the box is different based off the local artists we are working with. And the art supplies that are contained in those boxes are also different based off the artist's preferences. And the third box we plan to, to release is called the Honey Pie, which is going to be targeted towards children and it will contain kid-friendly art supplies and coloring pages designed either by us or the local artists that we are working with. So our two main competitors are Sketchbox and Art Snacks. Sketchbox provides a couple of art supplies like pens, pencils, and colored pencils. They provide these art supplies at $35 per month, and on the other hand, Art Snacks provides four to five art supplies in each of their boxes, and these are full-size art supplies. Um, they don't feature an artist, and they and they mainly. Um, so, what makes us unique? So we. We have local artists, and when we talk about local artists, we're not talking about artists that are already established here in Fresno. We're talking about people that are in, enrolled in high school and people that want to gain exposure through their art and through us. So another thing that makes us unique is our affordable price point. And as you can see, we have 13 pieces in our boxes in comparison to the four to five pieces that are in Art Snacks and Sketchbox. And we also provide different art mediums aside from drawing and, and sketching. So like I said, the honey pot is right in front of me. Right now we are already selling it from our from Art Hop and inside our basic um, supplies. Um, for me, I can't draw and I don't really understand supplies, so this box, box is really helpful because I get to learn the supplies that I use. So as for our customer segment, who are we actually targeting? With the Honey Pot, we're mainly targeting teenagers since they haven't yet figured out what types of art mediums they want to go into. As for the Honeycomb, which is our second box and our Pro Box, 
We're targeting that mainly to young adults since they've already had experience with art supplies and they know what types of art mediums they want to go into and um, what types of art mediums they want to use. So we've already been starting to work on our audience growth by attending two different art hops. We first attended Patino where we were able to get around 20 people who were interested in subscribing to our mailing list. And the other art hop venue that we attended was at Romaine Home where we were able to sell around three boxes and gain $83. So what are we doing to promote our product? Right now we've created an Instagram account because we really want to focus on getting teenagers' attention right now since we believe that our box, the Honey Pot, is the best choice for them. And what better way to get their attention than through social media, especially through Instagram? And so like, this is our Instagram account right now and we've gained 84 followers within a month and we started it in January 14th. And our impressions are 1,200. And from each post, the lights are ranging from 30 to 50 lights. And also what we post about is just updates on our product and events that we're going to and also some of the local artists that we're featuring. And below you can see some of the examples of posts that we already have on our Instagram account. So moving on to the website. We wanted to create a simplistic website that at the same time looks elegant. So as you can see, we start off with our logo at the top, uh, and then we have our tabs on, um, on the top row, which is essential to our website, products, our story, subscribe to us, work with us, and contact. Then we have our main UVP, which is supplies at an affordable price, one box at a time. Then we provide a short statement about who we are and what we do. And as you scroll down, we see who is it for, the purpose and box options, which is mainly just a description of what we had in above it, the about us section, going more into detail about that. Then we provided pictures of ourselves and the positions in Art Hive uh, in order to familiarize customers with who we are and who they're actually buying from. So with our website, we are currently using a free link from hosted by Cloud9, but we have already bought our domain, and it's going to be arthighfresno.com. For the cost of our first MVP, we didn't exceed the amount of $30. So with that amount, we purchased supplies to create a prototype box, and this came out to be more expensive since we didn't buy our supplies in bulk. So with uh, the prototype box, we had a sign-up sheet for our newsletter uh, beside it so people could sign up for updates about our business. Along with, I'm sorry. Okay. Along with that, we had, we had a suggestion column for people to put the art supplies that they prefer and we modified the supplies that we had in our prototype box in order to adjust the needs of the people who were signing up for a newsletter and with these um, with the adjustments that we made, we produced the boxes that are right in front of you. So for the cost of goods, in, in the total of uh, 20 boxes, we spent $240 to buy in bulk of what we needed to supply all of the boxes. So with the 20 boxes that we ordered and the 20 supplies for the for the boxes, we're going to be pricing these boxes at $30 each, which would give us a total of $600 in revenue. So moving on to our TAM, uh, we estimated, uh, we came up with an estimate of 70.4 million buyers, with, and if they purchase this item six times, we would have 422.5 million units, which gives us a total revenue of $12.7 billion. And as you can see, this would be our growth rate, and we calculate an estimate of 10% per year with our growth rate, and this is a three-year visual, and you can see that at the end of year three, um, we exceed the amount of $15 billion. As for our sound, we estimated around 15,500 customers, and if they purchase this box three times, we would have a total of 
46,600 units with a total revenue of $1.4 million. As for our market share, our goal for one year is 2,000 customers with a 70% conversion rate, which gives us a total of $126,000. So in the future, we plan to build upon the boxes that we have previously mentioned. The Honey Pie, which is the box that contains the kid-friendly art supplies, and the Honey Comb that is for people who already know the art medium and ones that are designed after the local artists we're working with. And we also plan to work on the boxes that we have here, the Honey Pot, and change the design and also their um, art supplies each month. As for events, we continue to we plan on continuing to attend Patino's Art Hop as well as Romaine Homes Art Hop, since that's where we gain most of our exposure to the public. We also plan on going into other venues such as Ampersand Ice Cream and Bitwise Industries, and we're currently in progress on contacting them about that. Uh, we're also in the planning stages with three other business teams to create a startup fair at Bitwise Industries, and we're working with Lydian's Music Customs, uh, Oasis Mobile Detailing, and Star Tacos in order to um, have that event. And then we're also planning on having an event at Woodward Park where we'll be able to showcase our products along with other business teams about and show passerbys um, and hopefully gain more exposure with that. In the future, we also plan to work with Reborn, who is another junior business team. And we want to make a box where we feature art and also health um, products that would be with self-care. And we also want to update the art that's on our monthly boxes that we have now. Thank, Thank you. you. The so the cost is thirty dollars and it's monthly. Yes. Okay, so the when you talk about the cost of this box, um, I did the math. It's twenty eight dollars to make this box. Yes. So you're going to only make two dollars. Oh, uh, so it's uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars to make the box uh, for each box. Uh, that would be around eleven dollars to okay. make each box, and then um, since we are selling them for for thirty dollars, we would be making a sixty-four percent profit on those boxes. So it's not the twenty-eight dollars in cost that you showed up there. Um, so the two, I think you're talking about two hundred and forty dollars. Uh, which lead are you referring to specifically? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Okay, so this was the cost of our MVP, our first MVP okay. that we had at Patino. So uh, that was to create our prototype box since we did have to buy everything individually. So okay, so that's not this one? No. Okay. This is the adjusted one based on yes. the input you received from others? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. I like the uh, name, I like the uh, logo. And the branding, uh, you need to trademark that. <laughs> and all you need to do is put a TM on it. You don't have to say anything for it. And that claims that it, it's a, art hive is a word that I would protect. It just has a nice feel to it. Um, I open the box, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> We wanted to include a, a paper where we would tell you what you can do with the art supplies and what art supplies they are, but we haven't considered that. Okay. Um, what is the role? You mentioned that there are artists in the center by that they got some role in here or not? So with the artists, we wanted to, you can see that there's artwork in there, so we would change that with artwork from a local artist here in Fresno, and we would also modify the look of the box on the outside based on what the artist uh, wants to design on it as well as the art supplies that are inside the box the artist would get to choose what type of art supplies are in there um you know thank you you know artists are very strong advocates of getting other people in art particularly young people could you not go to an artist and have them give you input on what they would like to design or in the box and then when you ship it out, you say this is designed by so and so, yeah. and to have a little talker about that person. I mean, there's a lot of artists you can get, but they could actually tell you what they want to see in there, and then maybe 
here's some steps you may want to take in doing the art. So now you're building a bridge between an accomplished artist and a young person. Um, and I think, yeah, they don't have to invest in it, but they're also going to get some publicity. So my question was, because you had said using local artists like high school students and, right? So if I'm someone who wants to start, you know, playing with art or whatever, why would I care so much about what a high school student can do as opposed to an accomplished artist like Tim was talking about? Um, so the main goal that we want in, in this business is that we want to provide exposure to local artists here in Fresno, not somebody that's accomplished and already has the recognition. We want to give exposure to the people that don't really have that recognition that they deserve. So there's a lot of very talented AP art students here in Fresno, as I've seen throughout my art classes, and they definitely need that exposure. Okay. Um, so where, what's this? I guess my question is just for the box. Am I supposed to recreate this or what? Uh, that's just like an inspirational piece of art oh, if, okay. if you would like to recreate that. Got it. We are planning on having um, sketchbooks. Um, like, if you want to like try to recreate an art or oh, some find some choose. inspiration, you can choose. Okay. Is that going to be on the insert you were going to put in ideas of how to use this box? Yes. yes. I would encourage you to include something regarding the art um, being a healthy coping uh, skill, mm -hmm. um, just to manage one's wellness. I think that's important, especially if your intention is to partner with Reborn. Um, that messaging, it will stay consistent yeah. as, as you create that um, insert for this. Yeah. I would also have, um, maybe on the website, when someone has a box and they've created something, they can post it up on your website. Yeah. Or you could use Instagram, I'm not sure how that works, in a way that I can actually see the collection. Because that's marketing your product, it's also giving me some acknowledgement that I was able to have something that's, that's mine and yeah. other people can see it and appreciate it. You can do like a hashtag that's specific yeah. to archive, that way when you search that hashtag, it's all the art that people have created based yeah. off of the other box. Um, have you guys thought about going to like vendor fairs, like community events that aren't just art hop? Mm, not really, but we can definitely do that. I, I definitely suggest it. There's so many community events that happen in and around Fresno constantly, like every weekend there's something going on. Um, I would definitely look into look into those. Um, this other question I have. So you said your first year you guys are gonna you're projecting fifteen thousand customers or fifteen thousand boxes. I can't remember exactly what you said. Those customers are boxes. I know you guys talked about like repeat customers. Um, so is so your units that's you're gonna be making forty six thousand boxes. Do you think that that's something that you can do with just the five of you, or are you gonna have to um, get some is, help? Uh, this is for our serviceable dressful market, our Sam. Okay, um, so maybe it's the next one. What would, what we would actually be doing for the next one? Um, so our goal 2, is two thousand, and um, then we would have. So is that two thousand boxes or two thousand? Two thousand customers. How many boxes? Uh, since we're only doing one-time purchases right now instead of a subscription, since we oh. don't have a cart in our website yet, we need to add that. Um, it would be around 1,500 boxes in one year. That's a lot of boxes. So yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I quickly, can I point out something? Customers is not spelled correctly. Yeah. On the oh. other, <laughs> and the other slide, addressable, is not yeah. spelled correctly. And I'm not sure why you're using figures in the thousands that don't have a comma there. Like on 2000, it should be two commas, just to kind of conform to normal usage of numbers. Yeah. Yeah, when I first looked at that on the other slides, I was like, is that two separate numbers? Like, and then when you said right. it, I figured it out. But. 
really like your Instagram posts. They look super professional. They're, they're very um, appealing in the colors and they, they definitely look like a graphic person, graphic artist did those. They're really good. Good. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. What? I can't keep it. No. no. <laughs> you had a customer. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I took it. Oh, no, no, it's okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, well, I have one, but I don't need to bring the whole thing. I'm so.